Hi, I'm Milana. Welcome back to Yogi Yin. I'm going to show you today a short sequence for a scorpion pose. Now, scorpion pose is one of those poses, like the splits, that yogis like to kind of show off with. Hey, I'm a yogi. Look at me. I'm in scorpion pose. And you see a lot of photos these days on Instagram and Facebook of people doing scorpion pose on a beach in Honolulu, people doing scorpion pose on a rock in Bali. But it is one of those poses that most people would love to do because it does show off a, a, a set of acrobatic skills. So I'm going to show you how to warm up your body and how to strengthen your body to get up into it. I'm going to show you how to come up into it safely and easily so that you can work your way up to the full pose and I hope you enjoy it. Namaste. Okay, so come on down to your mat. Make sure your mat is placed up against the wall because we're going to use that for scorpion pose. And first of all, we're going to do a couple of postures which is going to strengthen up your forearms and just get you used to placing weight on your forearms. So I want you to come into a cat pose, but a variation of a cat pose. And we're going to actually just take those arms shoulder width apart and place the palms flat on the floor. Now if you want to check that your arms are shoulder width apart, just gently bring your fingers to your elbows and make sure you've got the right amount of distance there. That's really important. Press down through the arms and just get used to plying weight into the arms. And then inhale, reach one arm up towards the ceiling. Spread the fingers, take a couple of deep breaths here. And then place it back down. And then lift up the left arm towards the ceiling. Open out the shoulder. And then release the arm back down. And now you're going to tuck your toes under and come up into dolphin pose. So raise your hips towards the ceiling. Walk the feet in towards the body. And just walk through the feet, releasing one foot at a time and get used to placing weight into this stretch. And then inhale and exhale, sink your heels down towards the mat, stretching out the backs of the legs. Take three or four deep breaths here. And then release the knees back down, uncurl the toes, come into a gentle pose of a child, and just release. And you might want to practice that a couple more times before we come up into the actual pose, which we're going to do now. Okay, so when you practice that a few times, you're ready to try out your strength up against the wall. And what we're going to do is we're going to place the tip of the finger to the wall and while that elbow is, come about another hand's breadth down and that's where you're going to place your hand. So your hand placement is really important. Make sure that your arms are shoulder length apart. And here comes the tricky bit, okay? For a lot of people, going upside down can be pretty scary. So just bear with me here. Going to come up onto the toes as if you're coming into dolphin pose. And then just lift up. That's all you have to do. Just lift up towards there. Come back down. And then try it again. Lift up. Good. All right. One more time. This time we're going to come in. Up against the wall. Walk your toes down. And then tilt your head forward and just hold it here for a few deep breaths. And then release. Back down. Come back into pose of a child and rest. Okay, you ready to try that one more time? You're going to place the tips of your fingers to the wall and then where your elbows are, move your hands back down. Curl your toes under. 
And when you're ready, arms really nice and strong, lift up, and then come back down. Against the wall, place your feet, and then just gently walk your feet down the wall, hold it here, and then release, and come back down, and rest in pose of a child. And now, if you're feeling even a little bit braver, you can come in a bit closer to the wall. Again, come up. And then lift up. Walk your feet down the wall. And gently extend your head. One foot off. And the other. Bring your legs together, hold it here, and then release all the way down. And you can just keep getting just that little bit closer to the wall and just lifting off your feet a little bit more until you're in a place of comfort. But use that wall to really steady you there. Sculpin is actually a good pose for you, despite being a bit of a showy off pose. It's really good in bringing the blood into the head because it's an inversion and balancing the hormones in the brain. It's not a pose to practice in the evening before you go to bed because it's quite stimulating for the brain. So make sure if you're practicing it, you practice it in the morning or during the day, but not before bed, that's a bit of a no-go. So really take it easy, take care of yourself when you're doing it, but you'll be surprised at how far you can come. I'd love to hear your feedback. Namaste.